Hey guys, welcome back to yet another YouTube video. Uh, as you can see, I improved my microphone, so the sound quality should be much better. Uh, this time around in this YouTube video, I'll be showing you guys how to improve your AWP aim, uh, what kind of workshop maps I like to use, what kind of techniques and tricks I like to use to improve on my AWP aim, or just how I started playing with the AWP, especially coming from uh, a team where I rifled into an AWP. So I'll just show you some tips and tricks and what methods I use to improve my AWP aim. Now, in this video, I'll be talking about five main topics. Um, so starting off, the first topic I would like to discuss is deathmatching. Now with deathmatching, it is the most common uh, thing to do and you will see on YouTube tutorials or just any advice from any CSGO professional player. Now, why that is the most common answer is because you have other humans on the server which means they will do human-like behavior with it will replicate into when you're playing pugs or officials or pracs so generally if you're opening on deathmatch you'll be opening against other humans and naturally after weeks and weeks or months of opening every single day you would start your brain will start to predict where the person will go now this is su super important especially with the op because with the op you shoot once and then you have a certain delay so it is important that you get the kill because obviously if you do not get the kill you will die what i like to do when hopping off the on the deathmatch and this is to any people that have for example work or school or just don't have a lot of time on their hands to be pugging like you know some 12 year olds you know 12 hours a day so generally what i had i had the same kind of circumstances where i wanted to go semi-professional professionally but i had school i had university so I always had a schedule where every single day I made sure I had one or two hours of deathmatch before going to sleep. Now I did this like with music just to chill and just, I didn't literally have a number of, for example, 200, 500 kills. Let's say you are playing meth, you go 1000 kills, right? I just played for an hour, two hours until I felt physically tired and I had enough and I went to bed. But I, the most important thing in this is the repetition of doing it every single day for months or just keep doing it every single day. it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be for a month for a year just keep doing it every single day and you will see how quickly uh, your AWP aim will improve and this does, doesn't just have to be for AWPing could be rifling pistol just generally everything will start to naturally improve one thing I would like to say about uh, death matching, which helped me transition from obviously rifle to AWP is when I looked at the AWPers, generally how they play with the AWP in a way how they aim is I saw a major difference between uh, rifling and AWPing. In rifling tutorials, you would see, you know, the, the, the camera on the guy's mouse, you see quick movement, you know, doing 1000 kills, straight headshot, flicking with the wrist, whatever. But with the AWP, I saw, and what I saw from the best AWPers is how smooth and calm their aim is. And only in certain uh, situations where they have to flick, that's obviously when you see those fast reactions. But overall, the, the aiming and of the, the best AWPers is really smooth. So. I'll give you examples of, for example, like Sirson, Jamie, or, or Simple. They have really smooth, smooth aim, and it does. It looks like they have really, really low sense, but in reality, is they have really fast sense. Obviously, maybe the the one person would be Simple, where his sensitivity is really high, or Woxer, for example. But mostly, even with Simple, for example, you have situations where his sensitivity doesn't look as high as you think it is. Now, you would want to replicate it just like i replicated it myself i kind of saw this difference and when i hopped onto the deathmatch i was deathmatching and i was kind of remaining calm and just deathmatching smoothly with the mouse so no erratic movement just like you would do with the rifle but everything staying calm just like you would have to do when open because it's important you get the first kill with the orb and you don't panic so remaining calm with the orb is really really important now the second thing that i have on the list is aimbots now i said previously that i don't really like aimbots but this workshop map is crucial in improving uh, certain type of mechanic which i don't usually use on deathmatching 
but I use it a lot in pugs or official matches or pracs or whatever. And this mechanic is having these bots so I don't change any settings, but stop, so running and stopping and shooting with the AWP, left, right, whatever, jumping even. But generally what I'm doing is hopping on the aimbot server and running to the right, for example, stopping and shooting, stopping and shooting. Just because this is really important, again, once you transition to playing actual matches where you are run running with the AWP with your friends, enemy appears and you have to learn to counter strafe. So you stop, you see the enemy and you shoot. A lot of time I see players with the AWP, for example, miss this mechanic where, oh, my aim was on him, my aim was on him, but obviously he didn't stop. And once you do not stop and you are still moving, the, the bullet just goes randomly everywhere. So with aimbots, again, it is your playground. So in th uh, the kills on aimbots obviously do stack, so you can do a lot of kills. You can do 500, 1000 kills, just practicing again this mechanic of stopping and shooting. The other mechanic which you can practice, obviously you can practice this on deathmatch as well, is kinda just because the, move, uh, the bots are not moving. So this is super important. I don't like to change the settings of, you know, increasing the speed or uh, increasing the AD&D just because your brain will start to think like that in a in an actual game but that does not replicate to the actual game you won't uh, randomly see a person you know go 1000 miles per hour sh you know strafing you and peeking you so like i said go in the aimbots do 1000 kills 500 doesn't matter again getting your getting, getting yourself used to this mechanic of stopping and shooting the other mechanic which you can practice in aimbots as well is kind of flicking. So you have a point anywhere you want on the map and just flicking. For example, flicking here to the right. And you will kind of see in each player, you have your own preferred kind of direction of where you flick. And I kind of saw this when I just started open where, for example, I kind of liked flicking, uh, fl flicking from right to left. And if I had to flick from left to right, it was a little bit different, I wasn't comfortable. So it's those kind of things you have to practice and make sure those things are equal. Just like if you're playing football, you know, playing left with, uh, with the left foot or right foot, you would want both of your feet to be exactly the same. Kind of the way how Ronaldo approaches things where, you know, his left shots, right shots are, he wants them to be equally the same. So generally that is what I use aimbots for, specifically that one mechanic of just learning how to counter strafe stop and shoot because you will experience that a lot of times when opening in pugs or pracs on officials now the third thing in the topic is this workshop map uh, which not a lot of people use i think but workshop map which i love to use and it's called fast reflex aim map and i'll put it in the description down below just so you can guys make practice as well now what i use on this map is as you can see this map it is super close range the bots are running towards you and i use this map for close range combat open which is also also really important in improving your mechanics of the op just because in situations in official match you will get situations like these where the enemies are close to you you don't have enough, uh, enough time to scope or you know you don't long range and you kind of have to have to combat op your way out of the situation and get a lot of kills now, a lot of people think with no scopes, quick scopes, whatever you want to call it, it is just pure luck. But if you see in good opus or generally all opus uh, hit those insane no scopes or it looks easy for them, just because once you start practicing this close range combat opening with the no scopes close, you, you get a feeling that your no scope will hit most of the time. So again, practicing, I use this map to practice uh, no scopes a lot of times just like aimbots or deathmatch just letting the bots go close to me and I just train my no scopes and you will see after again weeks or months of just doing this uh, no scopes will generally hit when you play those official matches of course from uh, ridiculous ranges for example from here and the bot is over here it gets obviously a little bit harder but once the bots do get somewhere in between you know close range a lot of times, 90% of the time, after training, you know, a lot of months, years with the AWP, especially this kind of scenarios, you will hit those no scopes fairly easily. And it's why most of the OPs, for example, like simple, when they are close, 
and they just hit these no scopes it's it's so easy for them just because you get this natural feeling after a time uh, where again it becomes easy to no scope if the enemy is close range now fifth and final thing i would like to talk about is watching op demos now you would think like how does this help with my aim or my oping but it helps you a lot with your oping uh because for example and shout out to mbk for this because when i just started oping and i was watching a zyvo demo with nathan is a lot of times in those clips which we saw from demos of zyvo is he got the most easiest kills ever and it did not require flicking or you know insane peaks it was just he was always in the right place at the right time and positioned positioned himself perfectly in it certain situations which is why it is important to watch demos of opus such as device or or, or Sirson or zaivu in this case where you learn a lot from the positioning and just because you learn a lot from them you are able to position yourself so correctly in certain different situations where it does not require for you to flick or get this insane aim or combat close you know range oping with the no scopes it's just you learn how to position yourself perfectly and all it requires is for you to, for them enemy to run it into your crosshair and you just left click that's how easy it is and obviously that comes uh, for thousands and thousands and thousands of hours of experience and even in in my case i'm still think i'm i didn't perfect everything and i still have you know a lot of years of learning to perfectly be experienced on every single map so just for you know newcomers or professional players just like just like me it, it, you are always learning different situations and watching op demos will help you a lot and it helped me a lot to also figure out what i like to do what others other opers like to do and join practicing again in pugs or officials after a while seeing if it works for me that kind of style of orping and just figure out through those demos kind of my routine on open on every single map what i like to do what peaks i like to do what peaks i don't like to do where i want to position myself in certain scenarios for example if it's eco if it's force bites if it's full full gun rounds so opening and watching demos of the best opus in the world is i think second or even first thing i would advise you to do to improve your, your op because you will realize after uh, after watching these demos you do not require to have this insane insane op aim or, or whatever to help you get those kills just pure fact of experience and position yourself correctly will get you a lot of kills and make it look easy and make you an incredible opa that would be it for the video today uh hopefully i included everything uh well at least i think i included everything which is super important for you to improve your op aim and gameplay in general in counter-strike at least those were the things which i thought about when i just joined og to become the primary opa from a rifler which helped me so hopefully it will also help you guys um for the future videos if you guys could recommend other videos for me to do for example I had in mind doing demo reviews or reacting to certain videos i'm flexible to all kinds of uh, video suggestions you guys would give me and thank you again guys for watching i'll be uploading more videos soon so see you around